Oh, Bray 2. Bray 2. Well, the, the trailer itself makes it look just so amazing, but there is no hint to what the story is. All I got was Bounty Delivered, Bounty yeah, well, Wanted Dead. It, it does look so amazing, though. Yeah, well, from what I saw, there's hints in the story. The, uh, there's hints in the story. The uh, main character said something about um, the guy who was hunting, was hunting these guys, like a bounty hunter. And uh, basically, the uh, guy hunting is being teleported away from this device. He goes, they're using you. So, by the mic, it's just a conspiracy or some kind of hint of which are out there somewhere. Pardon? Do you want to play it? Oh, are, are you enjoying Zelda? Or Blink? Or whatever the fuck it is? It's Blink, and yes, it is exciting as ever. I'm going to go over there and try and play uh, Skyward yeah, Sword. Yes. Unfortunately. Okay, come on. Deliver it. Come on! Oh my god! Like, oh, you got free shit as well? No, I, I've got, I've got free like, free bags. Free bags. Okay. Like, what size that fucking yeah, thing? Like, no. <laughs> Seriously! I thought it was right. Got a few Wow! Oh my god! As I was saying, like, is it wrong to be in love with a game you haven't even played yet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> in any case, like. Whale demo or not, like it was a sight to behold. Truly, it was. Like the level of detail, the atmosphere, everything, ab everything about it, I absolutely adored. You know, like, basically they act like a reactive uh, HUD. So basically, like you're seeing as much of the screen as you possibly can. Fantastic stuff. You know. Um, <sighs> what, what, what did you do in the demo? What, basically, what the, what the chap did, he, um, he sort of walked around like a wilderness uh, near a mountainous region. Uh, he went up a mountain, into a cave, into a dungeon, and then he went onto the tundra where he was attacked by two dragons. No! Yeah! Sir. It was awesome! Like, what, what basically, what, it, it, he went into this rotunda, like, he, but this, like, this giant walked past him with two woolly mammoths. He thought it was a good idea to take out his mace and attack it. There we go. <laughs> he attacked it, uh, and then they, of course they turned on him. And then this dragon picks up the giant out of nowhere, like, the, and it just kills kills the giant outright. He gets the, some other foresters around, like helping him fight the dragon, but they get killed off. So he beats this dragon, only to have another dragon come and attack him as well. Beautiful. It was like thoroughly entertaining from start to finish. It seemed like, like even if there's nothing to do, there's something to do. Everything looks interesting. The lighting, the atmosphere, detail, beautiful. Compared to um, the old problems, normally, like they improved the old problems. Yes. Um, he went into a town. Um, you know the Bethesda instance where you, if you're interacting with a PC, woo! Yeah. Like, <laughs> the Bethesda isms, like. They've got rid of that. They just can't. If you interact with an NPC, they'll just kind of look up at you, and they're still doing what they're doing. It's like a fluid world. Like the world doesn't freeze up whenever you do something. And of course, again, I think they're utilizing your hotkey as well. So I think an emphasis is kind of on fluidity, like to make it like uh, a, a, a nice, neat, clean experience, rather than like with other RPGs where you have to stop and start every 10 seconds. Like, a lot of stuff that you need to know appears on the HUD when you do it. Like, even like level progress appears on the HUD. Oh. You know, it's like, oh, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you've rambled for two minutes and you don't know where to begin. I, 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 made, I made notes, but, uh, oh dear. Yeah, like, they basically, he boasted, 150 handcrafted dungeons. Whereas in Oblivion, they only had the one chap. Now they have like a crew of people and there's 150 dungeons. Wow. I mean, and then it all looked interesting. So there's so much to do. This is why I, this is why I say what I mean. Like there always appears to be something you can be doing in this game, even if you manage to finish the quests and everything. Yeah, you know, like the infantry system, like, Every, like you can, you can like interact and you can examine all of the different pieces of infantry. Like, you, like there's a, like a beautifully crafted 3D model 
of all of all the all the stuff in your inventory. So it's that as well as the statistics for each one. Like it's not where in Oblivion everything was kind of on a on an awkward looking kind of cap whereas on the character model. Here you can close examine things more more closely and see that the beauty of the, the, the craftsmanship. Oh honestly. I almost, I almost felt faint and queasy. I was like, oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Because <laughs> you've been looking forward to this one for a long time. I've been looking, yeah. They've also, they also mentioned, um, they are re-including um, all of the guilds. Yes, um, I think they're including the Fighters Guild, the Majors Guild, Thieves, and the Dark Brotherhood. Oh. So, you know, it's nice to see those return. It'd be interesting to see where they take them and what they do with the guilds this time. Um, yeah, it, oh, that's one thing that struck me. They've added puzzles. Puzzles? Puzzles in the, um, in the dungeons. The chap, he walked up to this door with like a circular kind of puzzle where he had to do it. Like, he picked up this claw from this chap who wanted to seal treasure. And it was like, that was the key to the, to the solving this puzzle in this dungeon to get this word, this, these dragon shouts. Oh, it was a, you know, like... But most of all, what it's like, if you see that place, if you see a mountain in the distance, you can go to that mountain. Yeah, you, you no know, invisible like, wall. Yeah, whatever you can see, whatever you can see, you can go there. You can in, you can interact. And all the NPCs, they all have their own different behaviors and agendas. I I can't I can't brave enough about this game. I really can't. It, oh, fantastic. Uh, before I hog up all the time, though, I, I should probably like wrap, wrap up for, for now. Though, amazing. I, I hope you like picked up on it, but honestly, yeah, we'll, I said we'll manage. <sighs> so the first game, I didn't even get to play. It. Extreme close up. I'd yeah. like to point out that uh, you know, I never really knew much about the Elder Scrolls, and when I thought, saw first saw Skyrim, I was like, okay, that looks nice, but. After seeing that thing there, I, I'm like, forget Harry Potter, this is the true Dragon Slayer right oh, there. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. And I true. did think, um, unfortunately, somebody was going to feel a bit faint when that spider thing turned up. Oh, oh, uh, let's, let's not mention that one. Yeah. Yeah. But skipping over that. Oh. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean... Um, the thing, about, the thing I found about most specific games, I haven't pronounced the name, is um, <laughs> I can't pronounce the name, it's strange, but um, I mean, I found with Fallout and the old um, Elder World Scrolls games, that the environments, I thought they were very static and didn't work, were just there, you know? I mean, the level of detail has improved dramatically in uh, Skyrim. Yeah, you know, the levels feel alive, there's a waterfall, there's wildlife, plantation, everything. You know, it feels more alive, it feels like a living world, you know. I mean, the dual wielding aspect as well, I found really cool. Like, you can find spells and have sand spell in two hands to uh, have a, a massive uber spell. It's a really, really good idea. I mean, is it, yeah, it seems like um, a lot of tactics are going to be involved within the gameplay. I mean, I, I, it's really interesting to see, like, what people can come up with and, like, how to conquer... Uh, different obstacles in your way yeah definitely I mean I mean you know there'll be different combinations you know I think there could be some good tactics in there like the uh, side spell for example when he uses spell to see the enemies in the distance and then bombard them yeah the, uh, like uh, there's one enemy like hypnotized and attack his, his uh, friend you know that was a really really good tactic yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see what combination he's going to get in the final game yeah <laughs> to totally <laughs> You've got to appreciate these people left me alone for 20 minutes! I want to go and play over to Just Dance 3. I've seen it and it looks fantastic. I just want to parade around having a yes, laugh, we, especially with the... We're going to go embarrass ourselves. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. We are, yes. Uh, hopefully... No, 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 I prefer moshing if it was just mosh free. Just mosh free! Mosh, just mosh free! Are you hearing this? Are you hearing this? Just mosh free! 